All the uh, people in the live stream should uh, go up uh, because uh, we will have uh, Molde against Orca. Colombia, Orca se está por jugar contra Molde. Tenemos a Colombia conectado, mirando. And this is the moment when the chat explodes. Yeah. The Colombians <laughs> like to comment. Mm. We see Molde getting ready on this side, playing in blue, and Orcas playing in white. So, um, what we've seen in the in the last years in this uh, uh, prime time fight uh, of these two teams, Orcas against Molde, was a, a very strong uh, Orca team fighting back uh, the Molde attacks, even going in. Uh, uh, attack uh, <coughs> and uh, it only uh, uh, Molde only needed one uh, score, one uh, goal to win the games and uh, it will be interesting to see both teams uh, um, maybe Molde is in the, in the same configuration as it's been before but uh, uh, the Orcas have other players in the team uh, some young players from the U21 from Sandefjord um, So Jan Meisenbacher is asking us to update the results on UVR24 on the website. Uh, I think the team is uh, having their dinner right now. We will do this as soon everybody stopped eating and uh, update uh, the, the game numbers. Sorry for the delay. So this is... Uh, Really important game, and this is a nice trouser we see there with these uh, comical skulls. Never understood that. But that's an Asian, that's the uh, 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 Japanese. Huh. So here's the game uh, we all yeah, waited for Orca against uh, Molde. Molde starts uh, with uh, catching the ball. Yeah, the clock is not right, but the game already started. Uh, can you tell the techies? Uh, do they know? So we have the attack uh, from Molde, and there's a call from the referee. Uh, free throw against Molde. Um. Guys, do you know the clock is. Wisst ihr, dass die Uhr nicht stimmt? Im Spiel? Ah, jetzt. Okay, uh, we tried to fix the clock, uh, but the clock was not uh, running right. Um. We still have 10 minutes there, it should be at least uh, 9.30. Huh. What's that? Well, Did huh? they start the game without... Uh, do I have a time delay in my head? No, because the, the, the break of three That's minutes was not through. Cool. <laughs> Can we do that on purpose? What happened? No, I believe that they, the break wasn't still through and then they started it. So now we start uh, again and Molde got the ball and are passing already, uh, swimming towards uh, Colombia um, area. And you, you see the movements are really forceful. If they uh, uh, attack each other, there's a lot of push in it. And Molde tries to make a decisive attack right here in the first minute. But uh, the Molde player on the open side is tackled away by two Colombian players um, to the surface. Uh, this is unusual. Normally in the last years we saw a very fast uh, pass swim game uh, of the Orcas against Molde. And here we have uh, uh, the first cluster. And now Molde is going in three players, two on one side. And... Uh, this is really dangerous from the beginning. A lot of pressure on the Orca <laughs> basket. And now Orcas are breaking free on the close side, on the wall, and uh, trying to go over the open side to the Molde basket. There's a player from the Orcas on the open side. And now they uh, do their uh, dome uh, uh, swim around uh, the uh, Molde basket. 
And Moldy recovered the ball. We are in the middle of the game now in the pool area. And Moldy is in ball possession. And they go for the basket. Two Moldy players. And defender and uh, the goalie. And now the attacker come, uh, the Moldy, att the, the Orca attacker come in and uh, push away the, the ball. This is a, a call from the very referee. Very high speed. High speed, high intense. And very I think bodily. the Molde want to make a statement here. Yeah. Remember that Orca has won already in the past, I believe it was last year, one match, one zero. It was, not the yeah. it was the first match, it was not the final. Uh, but Molde knows that Orca could have the potential to be a risk to them. So they want to make clear. And Orca has two uh, U21, I mean, sub-21 uh, pl uh, pl uh, players. I mean, there are 19 or so that they played uh, two weeks ago in Sandefjord. Uh, but the rest are all the experienced uh, players of Orca that have been playing together for like a few years now. So the Orca is trying now to uh, start uh, their... Uh, uh swimming around uh, 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 opening up system uh, around the molde basket um, coming from the closed side uh, on, on the basket but there is no other uh, orca player or the one was there too late they were even looking at each other and they realized uh, their uh, uh, the second player was in too late and we have now uh, uh, Ivor uh, going in uh, on the molded basket, everybody was thinking he tries to score, but he just passes around the basket. And now Orcas uh, regained the ball and uh, they try to break free and uh, do their open swimming um, to train the uh, molded players with their fastball playing. Um, now we have a cluster on the surface and uh, this is very physical we have a, a lot of muscle work there this is not just clinging to each other but uh, this is really hard work and we have uh, moldy again attacking uh, the orcas but stopped by the forward checking very nice forward checking very fast movements of the hands and the arms and it's back and forth now in the middle field uh, moldy again in ball control attacked by uh, uh, the forward checking of uh, the colombian players and we have a cluster, unusual cluster there on the top. Ball is dropping down in the hands of a Molde player. And they go from the close side, uh, already three players again. And there is so one player from Molde pushing away the goalkeeper of uh, um, the Orcas. And I think there was uh, pushing without uh, ball. Should have been a call because uh, he just pushed into the goalkeeper and pushed him away. And we have another cluster on the surface. I mean, this is the third game for both of teams. And... Um, Orga, I, I see that they're having some difficulties to play their game of really swimming with the, with the, with the ball and, and getting towards Molde. Molde has been in uh, control most of the time so far and are attacking uh, very strong. And we had that also last year in the final and eventually they um, scored, uh, no, it was the, year, the last year or the year of 2014? I think last year they, they scored in the first game 1-0 uh, free throw against uh, the Orcas. And uh, we have a, a big uh, a mix of uh, Molde Orca players. They, the, or the Molde players try to come from the close side, but are tackled away um, by the Orca players. And uh, now from uh, the front of the basket, the Molde player lost the ball, holding without a ball. It should be a free throw against uh, Orcas. Well, this is a. Ooh, I'm, I'm uh, feeling the adrenaline. Uh, in uh, in my blood already just watching this game it's a very intense game but uh, uh it's impressive to see Molde's ball control uh, around the basket uh, and uh, how they basically they control the game the four checking is uh, uh, quite early and uh, so and again, a lot of holdings, uh, uh, so you see the intense of the game. And uh, There's a call from the referee again, uh, free throw against the Orcas. That's the third, uh, fourth or third uh, free throw against the Orcas, holding without ball. And uh, that's always difficult because uh, the, the Molde players have time to position them there some themselves. Another call, uh, this, this game is... Uh, getting in the staccato mode where uh, the referees have to stop it uh, every 10 to 15 seconds uh, because there is uh, too much pushing without ball. Now we have a free throw against Molde. First free throw for the Orcas 
and uh, the Molde players are already going in position, just one goalkeeper, no defense. And the Orcas are on the close side, uh, on the pool wall, and uh, the, there was one pass interfered by Molde, and they already lost uh, the ball to the Molde players. But it's a back and forth, we cannot see it because of all the bubbles there. And uh, Orcas recover the ball, are on the surface, on the, in the middle of the pool. And now the Orcas are coming in, in front of the basket, open side of the basket, passing back and forth, now close side of the basket. And uh, Molde is not really under pressure here, because uh, the Orcas don't succeed in getting close in reach uh, distance. To now we are in the basket uh, of uh, Molde, there was one player pushing away the uh, goalkeeper, but he didn't succeed, and uh, another attack wave heavily uh, disrupted by uh, the Molde player, and there's the open side, uh, an attack, but it didn't succeed, another attack on the close side, this is really fast, this is so physical, and this was a wrong uh, 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 pass to a Molde player, and we have now uh, one Molde player who had to go up on the surface, two Molde players left and right of the Orca basket. And there was a call from the referee. I don't see I what mean, happened. Both teams are very concentrated, very yes. focused, and they're really uh, so, so the doing what they're supposed to do. I mean, uh, uh, tactically, um, okay, the, 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 the wrong pass right now, but otherwise, um, Orcas was playing a little bit his game around the basket of Molde. And uh, Molde also, you know, cannot afford that because uh, Orcas uh, can be really dangerous. And I, and I like very much the way they're, you know, going in and passing the ball toward the, the, the middle, going on the side and passing toward the middle. Yes, And yes. keep coming in waves. But and Molde is very strong. But Orca is very fast. Yes, but it's a different game we saw last year. It was a faster game. This is uh, last year we didn't see these uh, clusters on the surface. Um, no, but this is almost the first game. I mean, we did it well. No, no, no. It was the third, at least the third cluster. And look, again, a call from the referee. Is it a penalty? No. Uh, the the chief referee on the surface is uh, the, the chief referee of Germany, uh, Jochen Beckmann, one of the best referees we have. And uh, that's necessary in a high-tension game we see right here. And it's a free throw against the Orcas, and already a an, uh, Molde player is uh, lying next to it. But timeout, one. probably uh, from the, of the Orcas. Um, chicos. Eh, solamente para resumir un poquito lo que estaba diciendo Wolf, están, los dos equipos están realmente concentrados, jugando. Al principio Orcas tenía un poquito de problemas para desarrollar la, el, el tipo de juegos que ellos tienen, porque Molde venía atacando con mucha fuerza, muy, con, eh, muy físico. Finalmente pudieron eh, ir para el lado de la portería de Molde y empezar a mover el balón y atacar. Um, pero um, esto va a ser un juego duro, Morde al principio empezó con todo y ahora es como que ha bajado un poquito porque se van a, o sea, quieren hacer, el, eh, eh, quieren, quieren ganar porque ya eh, Orcas ha metido un gol contra ellos y creo que quieren poner las cosas en claro, pero no les va a salir tan fácil. Yo sé que tienen dos jugadores del sub-21, el resto del, de los jugadores de Orcas son chicos que están jugando hace eh, varios años juntos. Y bueno, o sea, hay que el pr primero que cometa el error va a ser el que va a cobrar el gol. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Um, so we're back in the game, uh, um, and uh, Molde is attacking, starting on the open side, heavily uh, disrupted by the Orca players, who do a very good job, job to go into the, uh, the body uh, um, possession of the Orca uh, players holding the ball. So it's a, it's a tough game, it's a very physical game. You see these movements are so forceful. If they hit parts of the body, you see the impact. And uh, now we see uh, uh, the Molde players being pushed, two Molde players uh, fighting with an uh, Orca player being pushed away. And in the middle of the pool, a Molde player uh, tries to break through the uh, attacking uh, defense of the Orcas. And it's incredible how fast both teams move, um, not with the swim, actually but with their body movements in the in the close way and uh, as soon as uh, Molde comes close to the basket of the Orcas you have one or two players from the uh, Molde play from Molde uh, positioning left and right of the basket waiting
waiting for the ball. Uh, there's always at least two stations uh, where uh, they can receive the ball and uh, they're waiting. And now uh, Orcas are on the heavy attack. Um, call from the referee. And this is the end of the, the first half. Already? Wow, this was the really the fast. fast. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> um, very, very intense game. It's very it's the just dynamic. Uh, yeah. It hurts and, uh, to watch. Well, it's uh, interesting to see that uh, more the players uh, try to be on the on the goal in the position of uh, Orca's goal, and uh, you have to look at their legs. They, they try to put one leg around the basket yeah. in order to keep their position. Yeah. So I would say from from the the rules of an award rugby, they fixing it's themselves. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a gray zone. It's it's. it's but uh, they're, they're keeping themselves in the position uh, there and uh, uh, of course they block the defender to get into the game. Yeah. But yeah. Um, at the moment I think the Orcas are uh, quite uh, uh, awake in the brain and go uh, between the, the passes and uh, try to block the, 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 the balls. Um, but it's of course quite risky. But it's uh, in incredible how fast uh, the movements are of both teams, um, w w how fast they pass back and forth, and how fast uh, the 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 the, the uh, movements of the arms of the hands into the the body area of the other player and try, try to rip the ball. It's just like uh, you don't see it. You it's only see if you see an impact. You, you see how hard uh, they move and how much force there is behind this this yes, movement. It's so it's uh, uh, so much speed and strength uh, yeah. all together. And you know, not just in the swimming um, movement, but also in the way of uh, fighting and getting the ball and moving far away and just you know returning swimming the counters, uh, passing the ball. It's just, uh, it's so physical. We haven't seen this physical game yes. so far, and even though Ege and yes. Flipper and, and also uh, Molde with, uh, with Bamberg. But I think this is the toughest and most physical game we have seen so far. And both teams have great condition. Both teams train six days a, a, a week. I mean, if I'm not wrong, that was the information I had about Molde. If, correct me if I'm wrong. I know that Orgas train six days a week, and um, they have some days where they train twice uh, with uh, the train uh, physical uh, condition and then technical, tactical, and they swim. So uh, condition shouldn't be an issue in no, this I game right so. now. And this is the third game I believe they had. I said it earlier today right um, from what we've seen before yes. from both teams uh, one goal will be the decisive goal 10 seconds left here and you're watching Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin and this definitely is the highlight of the day you see uh, Molde uh, against Orca second half it's still 0-0 zero, zero, and uh, Molde did a little bit more pressure on the Orca basket. And this is uh, the beginning of the second half. Uh, Molde already uh, at the ball, going for the basket of uh, uh, the Orcas are stopped. And the Orcas uh, succeed in uh, catching the ball and uh, recovered by Molde. It's a back and forth. And now Molde is going in really hard under the basket of the Orcas. And you see the push they have. They don't stop with their fins. They just go forward and uh, the defense uh, now is uh, breaking apart from on the Orca side and this is a, a decisive moment I think uh, if they can score now um, this could be the decision uh, in this game but they didn't succeed and uh, Mole is pushing heavy 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 oh, from the all ball. sides. Oh, oh, oh the, the basket is oh, was empty for a this second well there. This was so close and uh, the, the, the defense of the Orcas really struggles here to keep up with the speed and we have now the Orcas breaking free. Uh, one Orca player in the middle of the pool attacked by one uh, 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 offense uh, uh, player of the Molde and uh, this is uh, Federico I think um, going now uh, from the close side in the corner taking a little break there and uh, start no. his attack no. pattern. Nunca dije que había metido un gol, para nada. There no, was, metieron was, un gol there was no el año goal. pasado, no este año. El año it pasado it no was close, but uh, no goal happened and we're now in the uh, side of the uh, uh, Molde basket. And this is a really a high tension game. Um, uh, we have a cluster on the surface 
uh, Molde player tackling uh, an Orca player who is tackling a uh, Molde player. At least four, uh, two players of each team uh, up there and uh, no one uh, can free the ball. Now Orca player freed the ball but he was snatched away by a Molde player. Uh, still on the surface in the pool area of uh, uh, Molde and now Molde is in uh, this, uh, the, the half of uh, the Orcas and uh, they stay on the surface in the corner and uh, we will see another attack already positioning Molde players and on the basket sides of uh, the Orca basket but uh, the, the defense is quite good going in but uh, with this kind of pressure it's a question of time until there's a gap and uh, no question Molde will exploit that but we're back in the middle of uh, the pool area on the bottom uh, two uh, players, one Molde player and uh, now two uh, Orca players fighting each other. Call from the referee. Um, pushing without ball, holding without ball. Free throw yeah, against okay. Orcas and this is again a big uh, uh, danger against the Orcas. Yeah, and Molde is attacking more consistently and, and we have seen in the past that uh, these kind of attacks eventually broke the defense of Orca and they, uh, you know, got a, a goal. So, um, Orcas need to, you know, get out of the basket and try to move a bit more lo longer in possession of the ball and try to start attacking to Molde because right now Molde uh, is dominating the game. We okay. have, we have uh, um, in the live chat, uh, Westburn is saying Orcas have a two-minute penalty. I cannot confirm that. Um, but if so, it's uh, much more difficult and would explain a little bit uh, the confusion we have there on the uh, on the defense now because it's a little bit chaotic. Um, call from the referee. Um, he's going Estamos up to the surface. Molde it's a free throw against uh, Molde. Uh, más intensamente que Orcas, eso le está costando mucho trabajo, mucha fuerza a los chicos, tienen que salir de la portería y empezar a poder hacer el juego de ellos y atacar y, y estar en posición del balón, porque Molde ya ha hecho ese tipo de, de ataque contra Orcas en años anteriores y luego de al, algunas horas de ataque ha conseguido meter un gol. So we're uh, on the basket now from on the Molde side um, and the Orcas try to build up uh, an attack pattern around the basket to open up a gap. They are try to attack on the, from, the, uh, from above, but uh, <coughs> uh, they cannot succeed, cannot bring the ball in the close vicinity. And this was a, was a, a, a the ball was dropping down and the, the Orca player couldn't hold it. And uh, now we have a fast uh, counter attack from uh, Molde but was stopped by one player in the middle and it's a free throw against uh, Orcas. Always uh, really dangerous because uh, the Molde players are uh, positioning them at once. So the referees here are really busy keeping this... Uh, yeah, um, yeah, the game clean, right? Uh, you can get physical very quick. Um, ah, really, yeah. Thank you, West Berlin, for telling us 50 seconds in the next half. Okay, it should be over then. Uh, uh, already, so the Orcas are already uh, in full strength in the in the pool. So we have uh, the Molde players position positioning themselves left and right around the basket. No defense there now from the Orcas. Defense is back, and we have a cluster in the corner of the Orca basket. And four minutes 38 left in the second half Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin. And this is definitely one of the highlights uh, in this tournament. And uh, right now, both teams uh, um, seem to be uh, uh, in, the, in the same height with Molde, uh, with a little bit of advantage, with more attacks on the Orca basket. But the Orca succeed uh, quite good, keeping them at the bay and uh, pulling uh, the ball out of the uh, Molde attacks. But it's uh, training and exhausting what they do, and we have four minutes left. And there's another call from the referees. And this is the chief referee on the surface. Well, let's see what the decision is. Uh, free throw against uh, the Orcas. Um, I stopped counting the how many free throws against the Orcas we did have. Um, Molde players coming to take position next to the basket. Here we go, Molde attack. Ivor going in with uh, full force in front of the basket and passing the ball around. 
uh, to his uh, teammates waiting there down there there's a cluster uh, in the uh, on the uh, close side of the pool of the basket and this is now a heavy attack again uh, you see the pushes uh, the players and the goalies uh, receive uh, from the attacks and the movements so uh, the orcas do a quite good job defending here um, and we have uh, Molde coming in uh, from uh, from uh, the front of the basket, but are tackled away by a Colombian player. Three minutes left in this game, Champions Cup 2016, Molde against uh, uh, Orcas, Norway against Colombia, and uh, Molde in blue and Orcas in white. And there's heavy, constant pressure on the Oka basket here. Uh, we don't see uh, any uh, um, slowdown in both teams. Um, right now there's a cluster in the corner close to the surface and uh, Molde tries to come in on the close side but uh, um, they don't succeed because they are tackled away by the Orcas but the Orcas now don't succeed in stealing away the ball and breaking open the, the attack. Two minutes 20 left here in this uh, most uh, exciting game of the day and uh, Molde is coming in again and again. I think and with this lot of pressure it should be only a question of time. I uh, don't want to call for it because Orcas uh, do a very good job but it's uh, so heavy the pressure from these uh, massive players uh, that uh, just put pressure on pressure on pressure on the defense, on the goalkeeper. And right now we have a lot of Molde players just underneath the goalie and now the, the Orcas just uh, uh, try to defend but a little bit late. So this is situation that already had in the past where they yeah. uh, couldn't uh, stop the goal from happening and right now uh, to have this player underneath the goalie okay contra Orcas attack from Orcas Frey they need to stay free. in possession it's one and a half minutes left and they need to stay in possession of the ball well this is like a thriller we have uh, the Orcas coming in two of the Orcas coming in on the goal of the Molde players oh. but uh, Molde is uh, in spot and uh, defending their basket one minute 15 left and it's still 0-0 zero, zero in this uh, match of the Giants uh, here on the uh, Champions Cup and the Orcas defending the ball around uh, the basket uh, of the Molde players but uh, they uh, they are missing the push uh, Molde uh, showed while attacking 55 seconds then we're in penalty shooting um, I don't know what I want, uh, what I can wish for uh, the Orcas, um, because penalty <laughs> shooting against Molde is quite heavy, and this is oh, this is so Orcas intense. Just the, the basket, or what happened? We have a call from uh, the referees, and this is a free throw against uh, the Orcas in the last 30 seconds, and uh, this is almost unbearable in this uh, moment, because we know uh, Molde is able to uh, score. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And now we see uh, this is a fast attack uh, on the Orca basket, and uh, 15 seconds left. Um, Molde coming in, we see a snorkel falling down. This is a heavy <laughs> on the equipment. And people now on the I close mean, the side, we see the push seconds, from the uh, one of the Molde seconds. players. Five and seconds. This is really the, the last seconds of this game. And uh, 400 people. Whoa. End of the match and now penalties. And I stopped breathing. It was an apnea in the last five minutes. Almost. <laughs> I couldn't go. Chicos, por favor, que partido. Uh, we have to say, I mean, Molde really dominated the, the yes. match, but Orcas did an amazing job, and now and it's they, up to the there was no, they, they didn't make any faults. There was no... Uh, uh, Por uh, favor. Um, a ver, o sea, de, realmente Molde estuvo... Um, this is a crazy game uh, to watch. Teniendo la balón la mayoría del tiempo y atacando constantemente, o sea, dominaron el partido, eso no lo podemos negar, pero el trabajo de Orcas en la defensa fue increíble, o sea, aguantar semejante moles de hombres viniendo a atacar, yo casi dejé respirar, no podía ni mirar. People around the world, eh, please take pictures where you are watching this game right now and post them on Facebook, send them to us on Facebook. We'd like to see uh, where the where you are, 400 people watching. 
most of you are not watching alone. Personas. So uh, I guess there will be uh, little uh, parties, especially in uh, Colombia and uh, in Norway. Just take a picture and send them uh, to us on Facebook over this Messenger. This is the first time that Orcas and Molde goes to penalties. They always, I mean, um, Molde uh, always won. And and look, just look on the oh side no, of Molde. The, the, the players are uh, like stranded whales uh, lying around. Uh, the <laughs> stranded whales? Well, yeah, a little bit, but like the, the, the Orca <laughs> players are uh, <laughs> smiling, dancing, uh, quite happy. No, I mean, they, but they had I don't put just an energy on that game. They yeah, absolutely, the sure, both teams. But look at the Orca players, they are a little bit... Uh, la 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 la, and I Diego was uh, funny. I think they're just relaxing, they're, they're mental, clever. Mental training. Yeah, mental training, they're clever what they're doing. They're just trying to... Yeah, you know. absolutely, they know what they're doing. It was just like... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> It, it, it just so looked, they, they just <laughs> fell down where they came out of the water. Jörg wants to say something and we're talking. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jörg. <laughs> no, 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 no problem. Well, it's nice to listen to you. Thank you. Most of the time. I can record uh, something for you and you can play it uh, when I'm not with you. Mm, no, thanks. You're welcome. Um, no, uh, I think uh, it, it, uh, this was a very intense game and uh, that shows, this game shows how the uh, underwater rugby is clay, uh, played on an extreme high level. So exactly. and that that just was very impressive. I agree. Uh, very physical, very concentrated, uh, very intense. So it was uh, really fun to watch this. Now uh, it's uh, the penalty shooting. It's of course, I guess, in the hand of uh, Molde. They, they, they are, they are smart enough and now. Here we go. First penalty, uh, Federico. No, it's not fair. Oh, that was, that was, uh, that was not inside. Whoa, well done. Incredible. That's, that's that's someone. That's someone. He stole the ball out of the basket. It was not totally inside the basket. And uh, he's now far, too far away from the basket. He shouldn't he's be allowed. To. He, he has the ball. He yeah. can swim wherever yeah. he wants. Yeah, but yeah he, he has him uncontrolled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. he did it. No, yes, but we shouldn't take part. No. <laughs> but so but this is just incredible. Oh pretty, pretty the ball and he controlled the ball and wow uh, this will be probably if we put this on the uh, youtube we this will be the, 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 <laughs> one, the most recorded uh, the most watched uh, penalty throw in the history of underwater rugby por favor por favor so uh, we're not against uh, Molde, I'm sorry, 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 but w uh, the, the Orcas are really good friends of us but and we we're quite happy for them uh, and it was incredible. Uh, everybody who saw this can admit this was an incredible thing to uh, anyways, do. Anyways, the sympathy is always on the underdog. Yeah, this is Molde. No, <laughs> no. And we have now Federico going uh, um, uh, as an attacker in this penalty against Molde, uh, keeper broke a little bit, he has uh, 27 seconds left and yeah. he's looking what the Molde player is doing, he's just uh, testing, 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 trying to get, uh, yeah. it's taking a little bit uh, too much time, no. oh fuck, no, he just he ju he yeah. tried to throw the ball down, home. Yeah, we, we know we know Molded are very good and, and holding um, penalties. We knew that um, sabemos que los chicos de, de Molde son increíbles atajando penales. Por eso well, Samuel is uh, really uh, spent here uh, at this point. He's sitting there and the, that was really incredible. I like to see this every day, every morning to wake up. It just wakes you up For to see this video. Yeah, motivational video every morning after you get up. Uh, okay, um, next penalty. Molde is attacking. Uh, we don't know the goalkeeper um, there. Um, Molde player tries to turn around uh, the Molde player and the, uh, the, the Orca player. And the Orca player uh, just it's tackled the, the Molde player. And there's a call from the referee. ¿Qué pasó? A ver qué está cobrando, por favor. Oh, this is a fall play repetition. Is it a replay now? Mm. 
Jungs, könnt ihr den Strafwurf äh, äh, Nummern reinstellen? Man sieht nicht. Ah, okay. Danke. A ver, tenemos la repetición, una repetición, una falta cometida. Ay, ay, ay. No. Ah, here we go. Mole uh, succeeded. And Samuel is going. Samuel Gaviria is the captain of Orcas, and I think he is going to execute the next penalty. Or no? I think he looks like he would be the one going to execute it. I don't know. Yeah, he looks like he would be the one going to. Or no? Who is the one executing the penalty? Por favor. I cannot watch this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I age 10 uh, years old yes, already. Me, me I have too. more gray hair. Uh, and I just, before <laughs> this uh, shootout, I drank a cup of coffee, so my I think my blood pressure and everything is just like if I uh, drop now. So, okay. Um, penalty uh, Orca against uh, Molde. This is uh, Ivor on the, the uh, basket. And whoa, uh, the, the Orca player tries to swim through the, the Molde player, which is uh, quite difficult. Yeah. Wow! Increíble. Muy no bien. way! Muy bien, muy bien. Whoa! What are you doing, please? Yo acá estoy envejeciendo por segundo, ya o sea, tengo un par de canas más, pero es increíble este partido, es increíble el rendimiento que están trayendo estos chicos, es increíble lo que están haciendo sufrir a Molde y necesario. Um, Molde hace muchos años que viene ganando y hace uh, um, no Molde, Federico, Federico favor, a ver. Uh, on the basket. Vamos Federico, que vos eso lo podés hacer, a ver. 30 seconds left. Uh, the Molde player is coming down. He's on the. He's tried to Por be favor. under the the uh, the goalkeeper, and uh, this is. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, I cannot describe. But ah, ah. Dios mío. Pure, pure power. Pure power. <laughs> Oh, Por favor. Excellent, excellent execution. Favor, yeah, both teams, esto, esto uh, Molde does an incredible <laughs> job here in these, in these penalties. <laughs> it's incredible. And also, um, uh, the Orcas do an incredible job uh, here. It's uh, unbearable to watch. Um, and now we uh, go again. Molde is defending and... Uh, uh, the Orcas are attacking. This is again uh, Samuel, uh, Samuel going uh, for the goal. And uh, he's probably one of the best players in the world. Uh, with, and uh, he played with Molde. And he pass. played with Molde. So he just uh, uh, tested. He has 25 seconds left. He goes down again, tries to get under the Molde player and uh, turn around, but the Molde player is uh, lying uh, next to the basket. And it's almost impossible for Samuel to. Um, to go up to the basket. He has 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 8 seconds, 7 seconds, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, 0. That's uh, it. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. referee is going up. There is something... Uh, no, they're just checking the spot 45 seconds if the players are okay. Okay. So, that's it. Bueno, Molde 2... Orca congratulations to Molde, incredible game uh, from both teams and congratulations to uh, Molde for winning this uh, this uh, <laughs> high thriller shootout. <laughs> Daniela, me estás haciendo reír. <laughs> I can translate to English, I have no idea how to say that, but it's very oh, funny in Spanish. Wow. Ay, Dios mío, qué pena, qué pena, chico, después semejante partidazo. Ah, um, dos a uno y bueno, el año que viene. Qué bárbaro, qué Holy increíble. Moly. I mean, congratulations to Molde, it's great. I mean, it looked like we are almost against them because we are no, celebrating no, no, Orcas no, and it's not like that. Like we said, the Orcas are a good friends of us. But, you know, Mo and Molde has been the favorite for so many years. So this is also nice to see that a team can match up and can be, you know, put these kind of teams into yeah. a corner yes. and almost uh, make them lose. So, I mean, congratulations to Molde. Absolutely. Great, great. They still, I mean, they show they still are the best in the field and they... Yeah. they and really for so many years that. now, ex imagine for so many years, and we were talking uh, about this uh, um, f uh, uh, 
uh, some hours ago, how do you keep a team at the high level uh, and uh, um, play in this uh, uh, high elite uh, level underwater rugby for all these years? Incredible congratulations to Molde. So I think Molde will be in the final with Bamberg then. Uh, let's see. I'm just checking. That should be, uh, well, no. I mean, the semi-final, Bamberg and Flipper have to play against each other, and this is the next game. Okay, true. And then the winner will be in the final. Mm -hmm. Oof.